Hey everyone, today we are doing a lip enhancement on this beautiful patient. She actually has had her lips done two times now um, over the last couple of years. So you can see she has really nice lip tissue to start. We always just do a really simple, subtle enhancement on her. The product I'm using is a really nice light medium filler that sits really well in the lip and it massages really nicely, but it still is able to give good volume. So you could see I am starting with the AFE right angle technique. This technique is done by backfilling Comfortox 0.5 cc syringes with product so that you're injecting with the 31 gauge 8 millimeter length needle that is on the Comfortox syringes. So it's the same syringes we use for Botox. Um, we backfill filler into so that we can precisely place product exactly where we want it. So you could see the um, right angle technique is starting to inject right inside the vermilion border. So you never want to start outside of the vermilion border and cause an opening for filler to migrate. So you could see I'm starting right at the pink of the lip to not disturb that vermilion border. And then injecting product all the way out, you can see those like little blebs of um, product that are ending up as I remove my needle, just to make sure I'm pushing product all the way out to really pull down the lip or pull up the lip when I was injecting the top lip to give as much show as possible. This is creating more height to the lip so that when you look at the patient straight on, you could see more of the lip as opposed to looking at their profile and just seeing projection of the lip. So most patients, I would say nine out of 10 patients I treat in a day, they're going to want more show as opposed to projection. So I use the AFE right angle technique a ton when I'm doing lips. And then you can see I'm actually keeping um, the product in the backfilled Comfortox syringes, and I'm just doing a little bit of standard volume. I actually have been loving doing this because it really just controls how much product I'm pushing in every single injection. Sometimes when you push through the normal needle or with the one cc syringe that the filler comes in, you can push a lot more product than maybe you want, and it can cause a lot more lumps and bumps. So I have been just doing lips strictly through Comfortox syringes, especially on select patients who just want a little bit. And I found that the results are really nice. Barely any lumps or, and bumps. Um, very easy to massage. I find that they have a little less swelling just because the needle is not so big. Um, and it's just really nice and precise. You can really keep the product exactly where you want it. Um, and it ends up looking really beautiful. So I tend to just get filler everywhere in the lips. And then I do a quick massage of the lips and just make sure everything feels really nice. After I do this, I always sit the patient up and I kind of reassess and look and see I have them smile. And I look and see where I want a little more. So I did that. And then this was her laid back down and doing little touch ups in the areas that I saw or I noticed while she was sitting up. So you can see I just touched up a little area. And then once I touch it up, always end with a massage. So because even though I only injected her a couple more times um, and just added a little bit of product, I always end with a good massage. So that's what I was doing there. And then always making sure they're good and clean, get all the little blood crusties off and things like that so I can take some good pictures. And then we are using the Comfortox Lips Kit to ensure that they are nice and hydrated. There's Arnica in there, which is very therapeutic, helps with bruising and swelling, and obviously it's very pretty and shiny so that the patient 
um, has really nice pretty lips for their pictures. So that's it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching.